The return National and Global Day and Movement of Prayer and Repentance is a, a sacred assembly set to take place in the nation's capital next month. Author of What Are the Odds? From Crack Addict to CEO and Inventor and CEO of MyPillow, Mike Lindell, joins us now live to talk more about this event. Hello, Mike. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me on. So what can you tell us about this movement and why is it called The Return? Well, it's, uh, they, they approached me to get involved with this. Um, it was after, uh, you know, after my Rose Garden speech, actually. And, they, uh, you know, I called out for, uh, for everybody, all of us to get in prayer when we, during this pandemic. And, and uh, I believe we're in the greatest revival in history. And what this is, it's going to be a national day of prayer and repentance. This hasn't been done since uh, Abraham Lincoln, where you had a gathering like that. And... Uh, and uh, it's going to be nation or, or worldwide, and it's going to be. I want it to be one of the biggest events in history, where we can all repent for God, and you know, our nation turned its back on God, and we've gotten away from that. And I think this is going to be the 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 point of which a pivotal point, where then from then on, it's you know, it's uh, after we repent, things are going to get a lot better. And I'm going to also announce my national, or I mean, my uh, uh, Lindell Recovery Network that day, so we can. Uh, that we help people after that ongoing. I know that's something that's a very close to you, something you've continued to do throughout the year, not only through that program, but also through your employees at the company, at the MyPillow company. What is so special right. about the timing of the event and who is this movement geared for? It's for everyone and it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, I think it's the perfect timing in history. Um, we, uh, you know, we have an opportunity. Or people are looking for hope when thing when when things are bad, when things are going bad, when things are going good. Everybody just seems to, you know, forget about God. And and I think that's this is the perfect timing where we need to all repent and ask for forgiveness and uh, and uh, you know and then start you know be the biggest revival in history. A positive message. I agree with that. We all need a little bit more positivity uh -huh. right now. I know, you right. know, we mentioned it'll be taking place in the nation's capital, but for those people who can't make it, how can they participate and possibly at home? Well, there's going to be, you know, you have the website. If you go to the website, the return.org, uh, you can check out everything there and you'll be able to, you'll be able to watch it. You'll be able to, uh, um, it's going to be televised worldwide and there's going to be um, so many amazing evangelist speakers there. I'm going to be speaking um, um, at the, in the towards the evening, and uh, it's going to be a huge, uh, huge event. We're going to be, we're going to be. This is this is not just here. This is going to be global. This is everyone. Um, I I really think it's going to be everyone's going to be getting involved, even people that say they're not, because this is the time of. Uh, we need revival, we need repentance, and we need hope, and Jesus is our hope. And I know that it's a very special day that it's taking place on, and also I know you mentioned that, you know, sometimes during hard times we tend to forget a little bit about our religion <laughs> and about God. And, and what would you say, moving on, do you expect to have this event in the future? Hopefully we get to see things go back to normal. Do you expect to hold it next year? That I don't know. You know, it's um, um, I would. It's I hope it's an ongoing thing. I hope I w I'm hoping the president makes it a national day of repentance. Um, and, and national, you know, makes it a, uh, um, you know, and a day that we can have every year, every year to have this uh, repentance. Uh, you know, like I say, it hasn't been done since Abraham Lincoln. So, um, you know, I'm praying that we ki that we do it every year on that day and and. Uh, and um, you know we've got the it's the movement is, it sends it sends around five things uh, repentance reconciliation restoration revival and reformation and these are all things we need right now. I agree. You know whether you do relate to, to this message on, on a religious form or not, I think it's a beautiful message for everyone to just be open to it and hopefully you know get right. some, get some positivity out of it. It's a, a beautiful thing right. that you're doing again for our viewers that might want more details on this. As you mentioned, it's thereturn.org. We really appreciate mm -hmm. what you're doing, and again, of course, you're always welcome back on the show. Thank you for your time, Mike. Thanks so much. God bless. See ya. Likewise. Want to see more videos like this? 
click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.